There are several different types of vaccines. Each type is designed to teach your immune system how to fight off certain kinds of germs and the serious disease they cause. When scientists create vaccines, they consider how your immune system responds to the germ. Who needs to be vaccinated against the germ? The best technology or approach to create the vaccine. Based on a number of these factors, scientists decide which type of vaccine they will make. There are several different types of vaccines including inactivated vaccines, live intuitive vaccines, messenger RNA vaccines, subunit, recombinant, polyosaturide and conjugate vaccines, toxioid vaccines, viral vector vaccines. In this lecture, we will take a look at the many different types of vaccines and more. Inactivated vaccines use the killed version of the germ that causes a disease. Inactivated vaccines usually don't provide immunity protection that's as strong as live vaccines. So you may need several doses over time, booster shots, in order to get ongoing immunity against diseases. Inactivated vaccines are used to protect against hepatitis A, flu, polio, and rabies. Live intuitive vaccines use a weakened or intuitive form of the germ that causes a disease because these vaccines are so similar to natural infection that they help prevent. They create a strong and long-lasting immune response. Just one or two doses of most live vaccines can give you a lifetime of protection against the germ and the disease it causes. But live vaccines also have some limitations. For example, because they contain a small amount of the weakened live virus, some people should talk to their healthcare provider before receiving them, such as people with weakened immune systems, long-term health problems, or people who had organ transplants. They need to be kept cool so they don't travel well. That means they can't be used in countries with limited access to refrigerators. Live vaccines are used to protect against measles, mumps, rubella, rotavirus, smallpox, chickenpox, and yellow fever. Messenger RNA vaccines, also called mRNA vaccines. For decades, this technology was used to make some of the COVID-19 vaccines. mRNA vaccines make proteins in order to trigger an immune response. mRNA vaccines have several benefits compared to other types of vaccines including shorter manufacturing times and because they do not contain a live virus, no risk of causing disease in the person getting vaccinated. mRNA vaccines are used to protect against COVID-19. Subunit recombinant polyosaturide and conjugate vaccines are used specifically for germs like protein sugars, capsids, and casings around the germ. Because these vaccines use only specific of the germ, they give a very strong immune response that's targeted to key parts of the germ. They can also be used on almost everyone who needs them, including people with weakened immune systems and long-term health problems. One limitation of these vaccines is that you may need booster shots to get ongoing protection against disease. These vaccines are used to protect against Hib, Hepatitis B, HPV, whooping cough, pneumonia disease, meningitis, shingles. Toxoid vaccines use a toxin, a harmful product, made by the germ that causes the disease. They create immunity to parts of the germ that causes the disease instead of the germ itself. That means the immune response is targeted to the toxins instead of the whole germ. Like some other types of vaccines, you may need a booster shot to get ongoing protection against the disease. Toxoid vaccines are used to protect against tetanus, viral vector vaccines. For decades, scientists studied viral vector vaccines. Some vaccines recently used in Ebola outbreaks have used viral vector technology and a number of studies have focused on viral vector vaccines against the infectious disease such as Zika flu and HIV. 
Scientists use this technology to make COVID-19 vaccines as well. Viral vector vaccines use a modified version of a different virus as a vector to deliver protection. Several different vac uh, viruses have been used as vectors, including influenza, Fuscula stomatitis virus, or VSV, uh, measles virus, adenoviruses, which causes the common cold. Adenoviruses is one of the viral vectors used in some COVID-19 vaccines being studied in clinical trials. Viral vector vaccines used to protect against, like I said, COVID-19. The future of vaccines, if you didn't know, uh, are DNA vaccines and recombinant vector vaccines, plant-based vaccines, which act like natural infections, so they're especially good at teaching the immune system how to fight off germs.